Yo, what is up guys? It is Jay Building and we are back with another very exciting video. And today I have my cousin on the call. And today we are gonna be building a custom keyboard. So right now I have the HyperX Alloy FPS, really good keyboard. Uh I'd recommend it. Seven it's about $75 on HyperX website, Amazon. I don't know where else you can buy it, but that's not the point. The point is I'm going to be building my first ever custom keyboard with Gatoron yellow switches or the Budget King switches. Um, so, yeah, I, I chose from all my parts. I chose the GK61X Gatoron switches. Uh, I got some lube, not I got spray lube and then I got some uh gray and white japan keycaps so it's gonna be really cool and let's get into it all right so right now i'm gonna be getting into the unboxing last night i already got the gatoron switches they sound really good here's a little sound test you can't really hear it too good but anyways let's get into the unboxing I'm not sure what what uh, this is. It could be the lube or the actual base. This is the lube. Okay. So right now we have um, super lube. This is the spray lube that I'm going to be using because real lube, it, I mean, it's a bit better, but like you can't really tell that much of a difference. And it only takes about... 10 minutes to do the spray lube versus real lube so that was the obvious choice for me because i have the ex the attention span of something very low anyways this i can already feel this is the gk61x the choice that i chose for my base so let's get into this all right oh that's really clean we have like a we got a gray, silvery box with some hollow, like rainbow uh, accents on it. Back we have made in China and then just some stickers. That's not important though. All you gotta do is open up this tab Pull it open, and there you go. Oh, all right. So we have all of the, that information on there, and we actually have it. This is clean. We have the 60% GK61X right here. Looks pretty clean. Oh yeah, boys. Um. This has a USB-C type cable, in case you want to get like an aviator, like cable, coil cable. But, alright, I'm going to open this up. I think this is aluminum. This feels really nice already. It's not even open. Alright, it's open. Information here. How to put in some switches. Okay. Pretty sure this is aluminum. Looks like a high quality case. This is, here's the, there's a little bit of an angle there. There's no adjusters, but that's okay because I don't really use the adjusters. But yeah, this is it. You have RGB coming from the bottom, PCB. I don't know what kind of frame that is. Your stabilizers you have here. And yeah. Um, I need to, okay, the cable should be right in here. All right, yeah, I got worried. I, I thought the cable wasn't, wasn't even in here. Looks like they have extra stabilizers. I'm not sure what that is. I think it might be extra stabilizers, but Here's the cable, just black cable. And, all right, 
I'm going to put one switch in to see how this thing sounds. I'll put it in... I'll do spacebar. Or no. I'll just do a random thing. Okay, I've never done this before, so... Bottom like that. Oh, it's in. Alright. It is in. The first switch is in. The Gator on yellow switch is in. Alright. I'm going to put my keycap on here. My, kink, my pink escape keycap. No. Here's a sound test. Sounds a bit hollow because there's nothing around it, but... Sounds hollow because there's nothing around it, but... Alright. So. Now. I just have to lube them. And then put them in. So I'll see you guys after I lube them. So basically what you guys just saw there was, I just spray lubed all these switches and here's how you do it. So basically, uh, you have the switch right here and you have the lube. You put the, you put the lube onto the switch, push it down into one of the corners and then press very light, like press very li lightly. So then like barely any foam comes out and that took about 10 minutes maybe maybe even shorter so it didn't take too long i'd recommend doing it and i can already tell the difference so let's get on with the build all right so i have all of the loop switches all ready so here's a comparison between lubed versus non-lubed so here is non-lubed and here's lubed Uh, let me go, let me get a, here, let me get a, some keycaps really quick. Here's keycap one, and keycap two. Okay, so the keycaps are on right now, so... So the one that sounded a little more clean and I don't know what you'd say. It sounded more, a little more clean and lower and like clickier. That was the lubed one. So now I'm going to be putting these in. So basically you just line up the pins, put them right in, and then it's done. So yeah, I'm about to put all of these in right now. So just click them in and they work. See you when they get back. All right, I'm back home and here's what we have so far. We have the lubed gator on switches almost all in. Um, So I just have to finish these up and then I'm going to put on my keycaps from my other keyboard because the other keycaps are not in yet. But here's a picture of the ones that I'm getting right now. And yeah, so I'm going to put the rest in on time lapse. So let's go.
All right, guys, so we just finished putting all of the switches on. So now all we have to do is the keycaps, and yeah, we have a perfect amount, and uh, I'm pretty sure these are the ones that were bent. The pins were a little bent, and so I had perfect amount. I have four left over. Um, I recommend getting a few extra because if one pin doesn't work or if you, if you if you've been playing on it and you realize that one doesn't work, you can't fix it if you don't have any extra. So I I recommend getting a few extra. But now the final step in this is putting the keycaps on. So right now I am going to just put my keycaps on from my other keyboard so yeah all right so i finished the entire keyboard and switches keycaps everything and i plugged it in so here it is here is the gk61x full custom build by me by me um i put my keycaps from this keyboard that's down there onto this one and it sounds amazing the stabilizers are actually pretty decent the space bar sounds a little bit hollow i think but yeah anyways here's the sound test I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, smash that like button and hit that subscribe button. We're really close to 300 subs. So, A61X custom build with gate on switches. And I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, just be you. Peace. Alright guys, that was about to be the end of the video. But this is about 10 to 15 days later. And I just got my keycaps in. And so right now, I'm just taking all of the ones out with my keycap puller and then I am gonna put these back onto my old keyboard because I was using these ones I was using those for my old keyboard but I have a new one so here's a time lapse of me taking all of these keycaps off and putting the new ones on Alright, so, I finished the entire keyboard, and I think it looks really cool. Like, the Japanese design, the gray and white. These were only, like, 20 bucks off of Amazon, too. And I have, like, a moon for the escape, and I think it, re it looks really cool in person and on video. And, yeah, this is my full uh, custom... GK61X build. Japanese keycaps. 
Gator on yellow switches with some lube. And yeah, that's my build. And now for the real outro. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, smash that like button and hit that subscribe button because we are on the road to 300 subscribers and we're very close. So, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.